Good morning Grade 2s! It's so lovely to have you here with me again today. My name is Teacher Di and this Grade 2 Maths lesson is brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. If you have any questions while I'm teaching this lesson, please ask Mum or Dad to email grade2 at worksheetcloud.com. If there's anything you'd like me to go over or cover in a future lesson, you can also email and make a suggestion there. This lesson is a maths lesson and we are going to be doing th all things to do with doubling. Now we're going to start off with some easy doubling, then we're going to practice our multiplication, we're going to do some much harder doubling and some building up and breaking down of numbers. Whew, it's a lot to get through. But before we start, I just want to remind you, do you know that you are special? That's why I'm sitting here on the other end of my screen teaching you maths because you are special. I think you're pretty special for showing up to this maths lesson. Some of the things that we might do in this lesson you might find quite easy. Then thank you for sticking around, for trying to work really hard on your maths to make sure that you understand everything and you always give your best. And some, for some of you, you will see some things in this lesson that are totally new to you, that might even feel tricky at first. Well, I'm so proud of you for staying and giving it your best shot. And I'm proud of you for doing maths and trying to learn something new every day. So let's get started. We've always got to start counting when we do a maths lesson. It warms our brains up. So shall we count in twos? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Very good. Let's count backwards from 40 and let's stop when we get to 20. Okay? 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Very good. Okay, let's practice some multiplication. For those of you that were with me with our last maths lesson, you'll remember that we did all of the times 2 table. So let's practice that. I'll read it. I'll give you a chance to say the answer. And then I'll say the answer after you so you can check if you were right. So 1 times 2, or we can think in our head, 1 group of 2. Okay, let's go. 1 times 2. 2. 2 times 2. 4. 3 times 2. 6. 4 times 2. 8. 5 times 2. 10. 6 times 2. 12, 7 times 2, 14, 8 times 2, 16, 9 times 2, 18, 10 times 2, 20, 11 times 2, 22, 12 times 2, well done, 24, great stuff. Okay, we're going to do some doubling today. Now, all of this is all going to come together to do some really lovely, tricky work at the end of this lesson. So let's focus on double one. Okay, if you've got a small puppy, a little dog over here, and he has one bone, the big dog needs double that much, which means he needs one plus one, and that's two. So double one is two. Great. Now this is really going to help us to just memorize this. So if I said to you, what's double one? You would say two. Good. Let's try another one. Double two. He has a small dog with two bones. The big dog needs double that many. So double two means two plus two. And that is Four. Right. Double two is four. Very good. 
Let's remind ourselves. What's double two? Four. Brilliant. Double three. We've got three bones over here for the little dog. And for the big dog, we need three plus three. And that's six. So double three is six. Very good. Double three, six. Well done. Okay, double four. The small dog has four bones, so the big dog needs four plus four, which is eight. Double four is eight. Very good. Okay, you try. What's double four? Eight. <laughs> Great. Last one for now. Double five. Got five bones over here. So the big dog needs five plus five, and that is ten. Right, double five is ten. Let me ask you, what's double five? Ten. Great. Now we're moving on to something quite interesting. I want you to see if you notice anything. You know that double one is two. What's double ten? 20. Did you notice anything? Let's do another one. Double 2 is 4. Double 20 is 40. Double 3 is, we just did this one, 6. What's double 30? 60. Double 4 is 8. Double 40 is 80. Well done. Did you see that? We call these big sister sums. Maybe we could call them big brother sums. It doesn't matter. If you see a 1, double 1 is 20, and then you look at the 10, it's a 1 with the naught on the end. Well, just for the purpose of this lesson, okay. A 10 isn't a 1 with a naught on the end, and we'll talk more about that later. But just in your mind, pretend for a second, what double 1 is 2, Double 10, you're just adding the noughts on the end. Double 10 is 20. Double 2 is 4. We just add a naught on the end. Double 20 is 40. So there we've got 3 and 30. The 3 and the 6, 30 and 60. The 4 and 8, 40 and 80. So if we know this little trick, all we have to know for now is up to double four, which is easy peasy for us. And then we can actually do sums of up to 40. So I want us to learn one more trick that's going to help us with this. And this is breaking up of numbers. Now, if you see somewhere that says, can you break up this number? You might get all confused, but all they really want is for you to separate it into tens and units. So here on the screen, You've got the number 23. Now, if you separate them, you can even hear it. 23 is 20 and a 3. And that's all that that means. When they say break up a number, you can even say it slowly to yourself. And that's breaking it up. So, breaking up of 23 is 20 plus 3. Because it's a 20 and a 3. Let's do another one. Let's break up 31. 31. It's a 30 and a 1. Do you see it's not a 3? It's a 30. And that's important for maths. So if we break up 31, we can't say 3 plus 1 because that would be 4. We have to say 30 plus 1. Okay, and that is 31. Okay, last one. Let's break up 45. Is it a 4 and a 5? No, it's 40 and 5. So if we break up 45, we get 40 plus 5. Well done. Okay, last thing before we do some interesting doubling. I want you to build 34. So are you going to take a 3 and a 4? No, we're going to take a 30 and a 4. 30 plus 4 gives us? 34. So if we say build the number, that's what we mean. 30 plus 4. Okay, great. Now, 
Double 34. Whoa, that's a very big number. Can we do it? We can. We're going to use all the tricks we have now in our toolbox, and we're going to do this easy peasy. Step one, we're going to break up this big number into slightly smaller, more manageable numbers. So please break up 34. Makes a 30 and a 4. Aha! Now, can you double 30? Remember our trick? You can double 3. Can you double 30? Right, 60. And can you double 4? Easy peasy. That's 8. Now let's put our number back together again. And we've got 68. Wow, so you know double 34 is 68. Sure, that's brilliant. Let's do another one. Double 22. First thing, let's break it up because that's rather big. Can we remember what's double 20? Or maybe think double 2. Give yourself a hint. Right, it's 40. Let's double 2. Four, and now we just put them back together and that makes 44. Double 22 is 44. Wow, this is tricky maths and you're doing so well. Okay, double 43. Sure. Step one, what shall we do? Break up the number. Good. Double 40. That's 80. Very good. Double 3. That's six. Very good. Let's put those back together. 80 and six makes 86. Double 43 is 86. Wow, we. That's awesome. Let's try two word problems before we go. I bake 12 cupcakes. My sister bakes double that many. How many cupcakes does my sister bake? Right, let's draw a picture. I bake 12 cupcakes. Good, one batch. My sister bakes double that many. So how many did she bake? Well, we don't know yet. Let's work it out. So what we need to do is double my number 12. So let's go for it. 12 is the same as 10 plus 2. We always break it up first. Then we double, double 10, 20, double 2, 4. Pop them back together, 24. You did it. So how many cupcakes did her sister bake? My sister bake, 24. Remember to add in the word cupcakes. The question was about cupcakes. Let's try one more. Oh, wow. <laughs> she's so happy she's doing a cartwheel for us. Okay, another one. Sarah has 33 stickers. Sure, she must collect stickers. Jen has double that many. How many stickers does Jen have? Right, you've got Sarah with 33 stickers. Jen with double that many, but we don't know. Okay, what's the first thing we do? We break up the big number. So 33 broken up is 33, 30 plus 3. Then we double those numbers. Double 30 is 60 and double 3 is 6. Good. Pop them back together. 60 plus 6 is 66. Brilliant. So Jen has 66 stickers. And there we write our sentence. We remember to add in the word stickers because that was the question. Whew, that was a lot of maths and you all did brilliantly. I'm so proud of you. Have a wonderful day and remember, you are special. Thank you so much for watching this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Ask mum or dad to log online right now and download the activity that I've prepared for you. Hope to see you again tomorrow.